wanted to show you this unusual plant down here. I don't know the best way to video it. There's another little, probably some sort of succulent. I don't know if you can tell, but the depression in the ground right around it is an elk track. Another little, same sort of plant but smaller. I'll just scan over here. That's an elk track and some sort of vegetation. I would that's probably some sort of sage there. That green, I got my shadow in there. And it smells good when you smell it. If you rub it on your hands or something like that, take a little piece. It smells really good. We'll kind of come up here and you can see a lot of burnt whatever this kind of vegetation is, I don't know. I call it greasewood, it might be. But this whole area burned, you can see on that ridge maybe over there, looking into the sun here, I don't know. That's what burned down that outlaw cabin. And it actually changed the fishing up here. There was a lot of runoff because a lot of the vegetation went. Actually harmed the fishing for a while. At least that's what I was told, I don't know. We'll walk up here. What I want to do is post these videos as I go, YouTube and Facebook, about this place. I used to come up here in the winter and camp. Can't get in here anymore. If they catch me up in here again, they will find me the max, which is I think 5,000 is what they said for trespass. And I have to admit, at one time, there were always dates, but there was never a gate. And I would come up. But the time they cited me for trespass, I did not do it. I don't know if you can tell me a better place to spend Easter and renew my spirituality. Just, you know. Let me know. I don't think anybody's got a clue. And if I would have known the gate was open for sure, I would have brought my dirt bike.